Chris and you're watching 30 Miles Out. Join Ty and I as we go kayak bass fishing here on Lake Medina, South Texas. What? Jumping all over the place. See that? Throwing like a half ounce rattle trap. Using a spinning rig. There we go. Yeah. Oh, awesome black bass. What? Yeah. Black bass busting the surface. There you go. Oh, Chris. It's kind of leaning. Oh, well, y'all just gonna have to lean today. I ain't fixing it. So what we do is we pretty much run them down, run over to where they were busting, throw top water, pop, 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 hook up. And clack spin baits exclusively. Oh! <laughs> he hammered it. <laughs> he annihilated it. I hope y'all saw that, man. That's awesome. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Catch his hand. What? Oh, that was awesome. Man, man, man. Lake Medina. He's a small little bass, but man, like I said, top water is top water. The top water bite is awesome. I don't care if you're offshore, inshore, bay, flats, freshwater lake, freshwater river. Here. All right, let's do this again. That's one thing I love about these jacks, man. You can sit side saddle, and it's so comfortable, so easy to deal with. The side saddle is just the it way to go. It was happening in a cove on the other side from the launch, and we started running into busting fish in the middle, middle of the lake. Busting everywhere. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but they're all over. You are out already? Oh, no, there he goes. Checking my well, oh, he's hooked all over there. Not a bad little guy. Once again on top top stuff. I'll take it. I just saw some bigger ones busting out there. I was trying to get to, but he picked it up first. First come, first serve. You know how that is with trebles. Alright, let's get this guy back in the water. Alright. No worse for the wear. Tips and tricks. 30 miles out. Get to know your arm. Here we go. All right, so you find yourself walking on the bank of a pond. You find yourself walking down a river on a salt flat. No rod ruler, no ruler on your kayak. What do you do? So what we do is we take a ruler, lay it on our forearm, we measure, measure the segments out. So use the crease of your forearm where your elbow meets as the base. Measure everything up from there, your wrist joint, there's 11 inches, the tip of my middle finger, right at 18 inches, great for redfish. You lay that redfish on your forearm, you know if he's just shy of legal or just over legal. You get a good rough estimate of how long it is, and that's your tips and tricks. As you are. I mean, I saw swells and stuff, you know? Yeah. 
and do some running and gunning. Oh, whoa, 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 right next to the boat, right next to the boat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Running and gunning, chasing that school down. Oh, that's a nicer fish. Man, did y'all see that? That was a nicer fish. That gummit. Threw it. Never did get a really good look set. Too much going on. Camera, paddle, throwing a rod. <sighs> that's fun, Dad. There's another school, let's go get them. Uh, this is a Liquid Logic, Manta Ray 14. Uh, good all around boat, just picked it up. This was the first day in the water. It's used, new to me though, I love it. I'm gonna have a lot of success in this boat, is. I can tell. Just rigging it out. There we go. Oh, one again. Little one, nothing big. Rascal. Little schooling fish. Busting everything in sight, you know. Just annihilating anything they see. They're so worked up right now. It's early in the morning. I'll do a time stamp. I'm not sure what time it is, but I'd say it's probably like 8. 7.30. I'm not sure. Some yeah. Oh, I guess he's ready to go back. Let's do it again. Where them rascals at? What? A little bit better one. Yeah, he's pretty nice. Oh yeah, a bit nicer fish, huh? As soon as they start throwing shad out the water, I'm throwing this popper on top of them and they take it. If I don't catch them right when they're busting the shad though, they won't take it. They move on, they just follow the school it looks like. Not too bad, not too bad, top water action. Alright, let's put this monkey back. Ate it, man. This water level super low, but I'm working a plastic worm around these docks and making it work for us. What? Did I just slap the lens with the tail of that fish? I don't know. Oh, made it back. Thanks for watching 30 Miles Out. Until next time, I'm Ty. And we'll see you next time. Keep those lines tight. What? That opened up the lens cover.